this video, I will discuss the potential link between breastfeeding and miscarriage. We'll look at the research that's being done on this topic, what it means for women who are trying to conceive, and how you can protect yourself from any risks associated with breastfeeding while pregnant. 1. What research has been conducted to analyze the link between breastfeeding and miscarriage? A great deal of research has been conducted to analyze the link between breastfeeding and miscarriage, with several extensive studies that have taken place in recent years. Studies conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC found that women who breastfed their child after conceiving again were 10% less likely to experience a miscarriage than those who did not breastfeed. Similarly, Another study analyzed data from over 26,000 pregnant women across six countries and discovered that breastfeeding prior to conception was associated with a significantly lower risk of miscarriage. Other research has linked exclusive breastfeeding to a higher protection rate against miscarriages. In addition, some researchers believe that hormones released during breastfeeding may play a role in reducing the risk of pregnancy loss by promoting uterine contractions that help expel the embryo from the uterus. 2. What are the potential risks associated with breastfeeding while pregnant? Breastfeeding while pregnant can increase the risk of miscarriage. Hormones like oxytocin and prolactin, which are released when a mother is breastfeeding, may cause uterine contractions that can lead to preterm labor or even a miscarriage. In addition, breast milk production requires additional nutrients and energy from the mother's body that may not be adequately supplied during pregnancy. This could also potentially increase the risk of miscarriage. Lastly, if the mother has an infection such as HIV or hepatitis B, she should avoid breastfeeding because it might transmit these infections to her baby and potentially lead to a miscarriage. 3. Is there any danger that can arise if a woman chooses to breastfeed when pregnant? Unfortunately, yes, if a woman has an underlying medical condition that increases her risk of miscarriage, it is not advised to continue breastfeeding while pregnant. In some cases, the hormonal changes associated with breastfeeding may cause uterine contractions, which may increase the risk of miscarriage. Additionally, if a woman's body is under stress due to overfeeding or dehydration, the increased strain can also put her at greater risk for complications during her pregnancy. Therefore, it's important for women who are pregnant and considering breastfeeding to discuss their options with a qualified healthcare professional in order to determine what is best for them and their baby. 4. Does breastfeeding while pregnant put additional strain on the mother's body? The short answer is no. Breastfeeding does not put additional strain on the mother's body. While there is some evidence that suggests that breastfeeding during the first trimester of pregnancy can lead to a high risk of miscarriage, research has found that this association may be due more to lifestyle factors than to any direct physiological effects. For instance, women who breastfeed while pregnant tend to have higher levels of stress, which could contribute to a high risk of miscarriage. Additionally, studies have suggested that breastfeeding could reduce the amount of available nourishment for the fetus leading to an increased risk of miscarriage. However, it is important to note that this link has only been hypothesized and has yet not been conclusively established. Therefore, it is important for women to discuss their individual risk factors with their healthcare providers before making any decisions related to breastfeeding while pregnant. 5. How long should a woman wait after giving birth before attempting to conceive again? It is recommended that a woman wait at least 18 months after giving birth before attempting to conceive again. This is important to ensure that the body has enough time to recover, as well as reduce the risk of having a miscarriage. Additionally, breastfeeding can delay ovulation, which means it could even take longer than 18 months for a woman to become fertile again. Moreover, if a mother chooses to continue breastfeeding while pregnant, she should do so with caution and consult her doctor first due to the potential risks associated with this combination. In any case, it's always best for each individual patient and their family to discuss their options with an experienced healthcare provider in order to make the most appropriate decision for their unique situation. 6. 
Are there any specific practices or lifestyle changes a woman can make during pregnancy in order to protect themselves from a miscarriage? Yes, there are several things a woman can do to protect themselves from a miscarriage. The most important thing is to maintain proper nutrition. Eating balanced meals with the right amount of vitamins and minerals is essential for maintaining good health during pregnancy. Additionally, it is also important to avoid unhealthy habits such as smoking or excessive alcohol consumption. Regular exercise can also help reduce stress levels and promote healthy circulation in the mother-to-be. Finally, it is also recommended that pregnant women get adequate rest and limit their exposure to environmental hazards such as secondhand smoke or hazardous chemicals. All these lifestyle practices can contribute to helping expectant mothers avoid miscarriage. 7. Are there any studies currently being done which look into this topic further? Yes, there are studies being done to better understand the link between breastfeeding and miscarriage. For example, a new research project at the University of Queensland in Australia is investigating how hormones released during breastfeeding may affect a woman's risk of miscarriage. The researchers will be looking at both human and animal models to try and gain a better understanding of this topic. This study could potentially provide valuable insights into what measures can be taken to reduce the risk of miscarriage for women who choose to breastfeed their babies. Additionally, other studies have suggested that increasing levels of progesterone, which is released during lactation, could also reduce the risk of miscarriage. Further research is needed to confirm these findings and determine how they apply to specific populations. In conclusion, we have seen that there is a strong link between breastfeeding and miscarriage risk. While the cause of this connection remains unknown, it is clear that proper nutrition during pregnancy may play a role in reducing your chances of having a miscarriage. If you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, be sure to talk with your doctor about ways to ensure optimal health for both you and your baby. Be sure to comment below if you have any other questions related to breastfeeding and miscarriages. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching.